What's going on to you Pisces out there? Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, there's a, a smash the like button. There's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website, which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel. So I can most definitely keep the show going. Um, like it is, I said before, shout outs to all you Pisces. I know a lot of you Pisces show me love, um, whether it's on camera, off camera. So I just want to say thank you. Um, there's another section of why I love uh, Pisces coming after this section of doing the tarot. But for you, Pisces, you have the Queen of, of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Cups here, right? So these three cards right here for you. Well, first and foremost, what it is that I'm sitting back and, and seeing is that the Queen of Swords, you know, once again, being able to see what it is that you see, being able to know what you know, being prepared for anything, having a life full of experience, knowing what it is that you need to do so that when scenarios like this and difficulties come around, you know what you need to do. Because Virgo is the opposite zodiac sign of y'all. And Virgo represents experiences, just experiences, period, right? It represents just experience. Right. So experience of being a brick, experience of being an animal, a tree, water, air, human being, everything. Right. That's what Virgo represents. Virgo represents the existence. And then what happens? What what kind of purpose does does it, this existing place, person, idea, thing? What purpose do they play? Right into the ecosystem, right? The bigger scheme of everything and finding value and worth and stuff like this. So y'all being the opposite of zodiac sign on that axis, a lot of you Pisces get that too because y'all have to deal with a lot. So because you, you uh, Pisces have to deal with a lot emotionally just because, you know, when it comes to matters of the heart, a lot of times people will try their never best to betray you you know, Virgo represents the, the zodiac sign of being of special treatment or being singled out. So oftentimes, and that goes either way, whether they're singling you out, putting you up on a pedestal, or whether whether they're singling you out, really trying to go out of their way to make you feel low. You know, either way it goes. And as a result, like I said, of being a Pisces, being on that axis, y'all get that. Y'all also get that too. But the good part about it is coming back full circle. This is what I mean when I say it ends up it, it ends up serving you a good because if you live through the situation, right, it's exactly like what they saying. What what doesn't end you makes you stronger. You know what doesn't unalive you literally makes you stronger because you've been in this situation before. You Pisces come prepared because you Pisces don't want to be disempowered like that ever again. So a lot of you Pisces figure, you know what, why don't you just go, you know, figure out how to actually overcome this, this, this level of powerlessness to where when you, if, if, and when you get yourself in that type of sit situation and scenario ever again, you now know exactly what it is that you need to do. You get kicked in action. So when it comes to others now right the five of wands and the and the four of cups represents your level of, un, of understanding yourself and others has has dramatically changed for your advantage in a sense that you pisces been around the block a couple of times y'all know what betrayal is y'all know what it looks like when somebody's trying to betray you and that's why it is that you get the Queen of Swords because you're very prepared for for whatever. Now, why that's important in the first place is because you Pisces are ahead of the curve when you step to somebody, even when you're dating them, you Pisces already have an understanding that there's a chance that this person could be playing a game with you and wasting your time. Um, you, obviously you don't like it if they are wasting your time, you know, there, you know, there's no excuse for that, but you know what it looks like now when somebody would be wasting your time. 
You know, this is something that a lot of Pisces told me, right? And I want more of you Pisces to come through and show me some love, come get reads, let's chop it up. Because, you know, Pisces is a very underrated zodiac sign, you know, on and off camera, you know? And even when it comes to me interacting with y'all on a personal level in, in my readings, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but a lot of y'all tell me how it is that, you know, a lot of times people be trying to play y'all and they get with you and then they act like they are perfect at first, perfect for you, right? They're good for, for who you are and what you want and it's a good blend for you at first. And then they start dropping a ball and then they start acting a certain kind of way and then they start blaming you for everything or trying to get you to think that everything is your fault. And again, this is why it is that a lot of you Pisces are so well prepared because a lot of you, a lot of you have been around the block more than a couple of times to know that it's nonsense, right? I want to say the other word, but, you know, so the, the five of wands and the four of cups, you're not going to hang around anybody who may have like habits, you know, certain habits, you know, whether it's habits of the liquid, if you know what I mean, habits of, you know, just alcohol or liquor, whether it's habits when it comes to like, you know, substances, whether it's habits when it comes to the way that they perceive things, right? And it's, and it's, and it's not equitable and it's not fair. Those are, these are all things why it is that a lot of you are very much so well prepared. And some of you Pisces may have interacted with some people who, who, you know, who have shown you this and you Pisces was like, nah, you gotta be out. You, you gotta bounce. You, meaning you bounced or they had to be out of your life. You probably told them. Some of you Pisces may have called them and told them, look, you don't wanna to talk to them anymore. Some of you Pisces decided to just join the unofficial ghost nation like I was talking about for the past couple of weeks. And then now the, now the Knight of Swords is about how it is that now come to find out with all these problems that, you know, some of them was giving, or some of them was giving you now come to find out they actually want you to be around some people just don't know what it is that they left up and let what some people don't know i'm a virgo so you gotta excuse me right some people don't understand what it is that they've lost and who they lost the value of who and what they've lost until they actually lost it right they don't understand what they have until they lost it so for you, uh, for, so for you, Pisces, um, you know, a lot of you, Pisces, this, okay. So this is someone recently where it was like you and this person just now started to get to know each other. And now all of a sudden this person is like giving you a hard time. This is recently we're talking about, right? Within potentially even within the past couple of days to last two weeks, you know, to kind of piggyback on what it is that I'm talking about. A lot of you Pisces are just now, you know, dipping your toe in the pool, so to speak, trying to test the pool to see if it's warm enough, you know, not scalding, of course, but if it's warm enough or if the water is still cold. You, you understand what I'm saying? If, if, in other words, if people are finally coming around to having some form of common sense or if they're still caught up in their own delusion, and, you know, you just kind of feeling things out, just kind of saying hi, just kind of, you know, getting to know some people and stuff like this. And the situation for you is, is that you had somebody who recently, where you and this person just now started talking and the two of you, you thought that you had potentially even liked this person, or you maybe have liked this person, but you wanted to see how far you and this person could honestly, uh, honestly go. But then you started to see some real issues that this person had that you Pisces was like, nah, you gotta dip. Because for you, you were able to see right through that, that you and this person are not a very good mix with one another. And then you have the hermit over here, right? And now the hermit is about how, um, uh, the hermit is about how you Pisces though, you were able to get out in time long before they started to wild out on you. Because when you, because one thing is when you see the a person has those type of dysfunctions, they're dysfunctional, which means that they're not just going to stop at you, right? Normally, right? Most people allow their dysfunctions 
to be a trap for them to where they ruin every relationship that they have if it's a social dysfunction or a function that really becomes trapping for them you know so why that is is that you pisces was able to dip long before they started to wild out on you or, or i should say would get to that point because remember this is still early where you are just now getting to know them this was still early but then now you have the seven of swords and the six of wands the seven of swords and the six of wands right here is about how um and you know they understood when it is that you left that you know you really wasn't gonna stick around for them starting to wild out. The Seven of Swords represents those people, you know, you leaving them really kind of helped them into a certain regard because it really started to have them understand, you know, they're gonna be single for for potentially probably forever, you know, if they don't learn to change this, if they don't learn to to, to get the head off. You know, to, to get, you know, if they don't learn to like have their head on a shoulder, uh, excuse me, if they don't learn to get their head on their shoulders correctly, if they don't learn to keep their head on a swivel, you know, that's what it is I was trying to say that I was in a tongue twist. I was trying to say those two things. But um, if they don't learn to get off of that high horse and understand that they have issues, then they understood that they're gonna be single for a long time, for a good while. And the Six of Wands is about, well, you not planning on going back to them, right? Um, this is just kind of a, of a report as to what's going on with this character and what kind of what you're going through and what you can learn. The Nine of Pentacles, excuse me, the Knight, right? The Knight of Pentacles is about how it is that because for you, you know, you want someone more cooperative, you know, someone that someone that can understand the bigger picture. You know, it's so stupid to try to be in a relationship with somebody that unfortunately you at odds with, you know, that literally that literally is an oxymoron. It's like if you at odds with this person, why are you in a relationship with them? Why are you even attempting to be in a relationship with this person if your core values conflict? Right. There's friction there between your core values and their core values. It's like that in on itself is the very definition of a dysfunctional relationship. Right. So I'm seeing that a lot of you. Right. The Knight of Pentacles represents you. You know, you want someone that's that's. You're, you're learning more of what it is that you want. And one of the traits that you Pisces want is you want someone that that you know, can rein in their ego a little bit, you know, not someone that's so big with confidence, but then at the same time, they they trying to do their endeavor best to kind of um hide their insecurities or trying to find their securities at the bottom of a bottle or they go out there into the into the street and then they and then they make you feel like you're alone amongst other people or maybe y'all are with each other and y'all have privacy but they're still making you feel like you're alone right you know people that you feel like oh my gosh why did you get into to this in the first place because you feel like you can't call these people up in the middle of the night on some relationship type stuff and just talk and spend quality time that way without, you know what I mean, physical, you know, attraction per se or without physical touch. Because a relationship is not always about physical touch. You know, a lot of times people try to make it seem like that's all I'm about. But it's like, no, what it is, is, is that people are using that as a as a way to, to control people and get people to do what it is that they want them to do at their expense. So, you know, and I think, but the thing is that the tower and the 10 of wands, right? The tower and the 10 of wands represents how, um, so because what's happening here is, is that ultimately, right? The tower is about how it is that, but, you Pisces welcome in that that destruction of the relationships that's dysfunctional 
because for you, a lot of you Pisces understand that ultimately, you know, what doesn't come out in a rinse comes out in a wash. And what I mean when I say that, I'm talking about the perspective of, you know, if, if you and a person was meant to be, if you and a person was legitimately a good item, this person, like, like for instance, like whenever it is that I do something seriously wrong or like, you know, I kind of rub, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, like, you know, not like an honest mistake, but like, you know, just, just, you know, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, kind of like a, like a Yu-Gi-Oh game or something like this. I'm playing online against another person, you know, just to give y'all an example. And then I'm playing against the person and then like I end up winning or losing, you know, but especially if I lose, but I do this literally whether I win or lose. And I do it with every match, whether I win or lose. Um, I go over in my head and I review it to see if I, if I could have done any better, right? If I, what did I miss? Why did I lose? Even if I won, what did I miss? Why did I win? Was this person taking it easy on me? Was they just trying to test out my my skills to see how good I am on some long term stuff so that that way they could show up in another duel. I come across them, right? Cross paths with them. And then they 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 basically revealed to me, you know, what I mean, that they was basically playing a long game, all kind of reviews like that, you know, so. That's how I move in life. I'm I'm in my head reviewing it. And one thing that I realized that a lot of you Pisces are realizing too is, is that a relationship, if it's not really, if, if a person doesn't have the common sense to review, to understand where it is that they messed up, to learn from their mistakes, that's not a person that's really gonna live a very prosperous lifestyle, you know? That's not a person that's really gonna have things going well for them in the way that they wanted to because they they not less they're not listening or paying attention or learning from those things that they're supposed to so that remember new levels new devils every time you get to a position of power you have a new challenge to meet but the more you overcome those challenges the better you become overall the more well-rounded not just intelligent but overall right fin finances intelligence you know um endurance other you know and 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 how adaptable you are you're able to overcome those things you become better and for you being a mutable sign adaptability is one of those things that we do well you know i'm a virgo with a pisces ascendant my mom's a pisces both my sisters are pisces you know i have I have like three sisters and all personally right between my mother and my father's side but um you know two of my sisters i don't know about the third one we never met but i don't think we ever will meet but um <laughs> to be honest with you but uh, uh what was i gonna say so yeah both my sister regardless of my mother and my father's side are both pisces so we deal with adaptability the ability to change and learn and grow right and change in order to be able to survive and, uh, and adapt and because we have this ability to adapt us as you know us as pisces pisces ascendants we definitely have a level of understanding of hey you know you know at the end of the day if a person doesn't act like they have some form of common sense with you no matter no matter how much antics and tricks and tips and tactics that they have it's not going to serve them well anyway no regardless of how intelligent they think they are so let's clarify some of these cards let's clarify the ten of wands let's clarify the ten of wands you have the uh the knight of cups the sun card the page of of uh, pentacles excuse me Four of Wands, and then you have the uh, Four of Cups. Joint is so shiny sometimes, yo. The shininess, you know, knocks me back a little bit. But to clarify the, the uh, Ten of Wands, you have the Nine of Cups and the Sun card, which is about how you Pisces, um, you'll move forward, you know, and you'll begin, you'll talk to brand new people. You know, you're already in the process of talking 
to brand new people. Just because you dipped your toe in doesn't mean that you don't have options. You Pisces are gonna talk to brand new people, see what they are about. You know, a lot of you are finally done being hermits and you're ready to actually, you know, get back out there and try to talk to other people. The, um, the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands because, you know, you're not gonna stop trying to get to know other people to see if they're good for a relationship. And the Four of Cups represents you're going to meet a lot of people. I'll say that, but just pay attention to how they are. If they're not willing to actually take a chance on you, if they're not decent people, then obviously you know what to do. Stay tuned for the next segment. So I love uh, Pisces, right? Um, as the zodiac signs learn and grow and become more well-rounded as time goes on because the zodiac signs don't just sit and stagnate and don't do anything and they don't grow over time that's hogwash you see so many times in these nonsensical newspapers and even in some books how it is that they they create their out their model of the zodiac signs the way that they think about them very rigidly and that's not true. The zodiac signs are most definitely evolving. And the people who can't evolve alongside them as the zodiac signs themselves, they're essentially doomed to keep living out their own karmic cycle until they can learn to get out of the cycles. But anyway, I love Pisces because, you know, real talk, and this is something that, you know, I didn't get a chance to really go into, but Pisces are real visionary people. Pisces are, are, are zodiac signs, you know, are a group of people who can very much so think of things. Pisces, Aquarius, you know what I mean? Very out of the box. Really think about things that most people would consider delusions to be, you know, considering the fact that Rihanna is a Pisces herself and Rihanna is a billionaire. You know, she came in the game up underneath Jay-Z. That's what it is that we knew her for back then. And then she did her thing with the whole music thing, the umbrella thing and other hits that she had. You know, she took a little detour with the whole Chris Brown situation or what have you. But she has her her clothing brand. Um, you know, um, I don't necessarily remember what a clothing brand is at this exact time. But yeah, Rihanna's a Pisces and she's a billionaire, right? Her net worth. Let's take a look at Rihanna's. Let's take a look at uh, Rihanna's uh, net worth. Her, her net worth, I'm sure, according to Forbes, is $1.4 billion. That's her net worth. We're not talking about her gross, the absorbent amount that she pulls in. Net worth is after taxes and everything and after expenses. 1.4 billion dollars so pisces people are very visionary they see things and they see opportunities in places and in people that they don't that most people don't that most people think is a piece of trash who who else is a pisces simone biles is a pisces herself and look at how far simone biles have come she got married recently all right or we know that she's gotten married you know, recently to the person that she wanted, you know, football player. Shout outs to Simone Biles. Shout outs to the football player. You know, hopefully those two individuals really, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, really end up staying with one another. Very happy, content, joyful. I wish those two stay together. Real talk. And, you know, Simone Biles came into the game herself and what happened? She went from being a relatively unknown gym, uh, gymnast to now being a world ren renowned, you know, uh, an Olympics gold medal list Olympics, you know, or, or a, gy a gymnast. So Simone Biles, most definitely, whatever it is that Pisces people set their mind to something, you know, they, they really take it and run with it and they and they do a lot with it. They flip it, bounce it. They make it their own. So not only on not only are y'all visionaries, but also, you know, if a Pisces really likes you now, granted, y'all going to be a pain in the butt a little bit because I 
Because, you know, Sharon Stone is a Pisces. You know, Sharon Stone, if anybody knows basic instinct, Sharon Stone is a Pisces. You feel me? Steve Jobs is a Pisces. You know? And, and you know who Steve Jobs is. He's the person that we... He's, he's one of the people responsible for revolutionizing the cell phone industry. He created, right, this, the, the iPhone. Steve Jobs is a Pisces. So whatever it is that y'all do, y'all really with down with these dreams, y'all, y'all really take it a step above and beyond and really blow it out of the park. And you really end up making yourselves not just big, but revolutionary in whatever it is that you do. Something that changes the category of whatever it is that you do. Right. You represent it. So um, not only are y'all visionaries, but y'all are very forgiving you know y'all you know you you know you pisces are the type of people to go back to the drawing board you know go back to the drawing board and you're like you know what let's try it again you know let's do this thing again steve's job's birthday is actually on my mom's birthday february 24th 1955 right now my mom wasn't born in 55 my mom was born in 52 but literally the same day three years apart though so this is what it is I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So Pisces people are not slouches just because you think that these are individuals that are just, you know, they, their eyes look a certain way. Because a lot of times, too, Pisces people be looking high. But it's not that they're high, per se. It's just that Pisces, you know, they have the eyes of fishes. You know, you underwater. You know, fishes are, are normally underwater. Their natural habitat is being underwater. Right. So. Pisces people are, like I said, they're somewhere between physical reality and spirituality, potential, what it is that they can think can actually happen and, and, and create. And then on top of that, being forgiving, being forgiving on top of that, a lot of you Pisces people are very um, forgiving because a lot of you do not see the 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 intention of holding on to, you know, um, anger, trying to be, you know, disrespectful to other people, although you can be and be witty about it. You know, a lot of you Pisces people understand the assignment that, you know, I, I personally think Simone Biles is very beautiful. I don't know what other people think. I, I personally, as a Virgo, I personally think that Simone Biles is, is very attractive. I, I, other people may not think that. I don't care what other people think. I think she bad. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, you know, I like that that dark skinned, one tone, skin tone, beautiful smile kind of thing going on. Down to earth, you know, kind of thing going on, right? And then the and then being athletic. I I, I like athletic women. I really do. I think that's very, you know, attractive. Um, you know, don't even have to have a, 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 a big yam, you know what I mean? Fattest, you know, in the world or, or the night, you know, big chests or stuff like this. But me personally, um, because y'all understand the assignment so much that y'all don't have time to be angry at somebody and then chase, you know, your own dreams. That's the only thing that you probably should be chasing is that. Um, y'all end up becoming successful because of the fact that you don't have that kind of time. And that's truly something that we need. We need in a, in a real way, you know, we really do need more visionaries. We really do need, you know, people to really be like, look, I ain't got the kind of time to be angry. I don't have the kind of time to be upset or trying to, you know, uh, ruin, r trying to ruin other people's lives or whatever the case may be. They just have time to sit back and work and enjoy themselves and really do their thing. And because of that fact, you know, Pisces people end up becoming very successful because of it, like I was just talking about. Um, so these are just some of the reasons why it is that I love Pisces. With these zodiac signs, every now and again, I'm going to build on top of it. You know, the why I love zodiac signs isn't just a one thing, one kind of thing or one time thing. This is something that's going to continue to happen 
as time go on, I'm going to build on top of what it is that I know, and we're going to continue to grow. That's pretty much it, though. Peace. Have a good one.